What's up everybody, this is Chris from Getting the Shredded. I'm going to take you through a little right leg workout. Just saw somebody walk right into my camera. Um, starting off here, this is a quad focused leg workout, but I'm starting off by pumping up my hamstrings a bit. Uh, I find that when I pump up my hamstrings, it really helps me to focus on my quadriceps when I start squatting. Uh, so I always like to warm up a little bit with some hamstrings to start, and I really like the seated leg press because it gives you a really good range of motion. Um, really helps to get your ankles underneath your butt there uh, and get a full contraction on the hamstrings. Um, today's workout, I squatted with the safety squat bar and I hadn't squatted with, squatted with that bar in a while because uh, I, I have a funny story about it. It's, this bar will humble you. Um, it makes squats a whole lot harder, puts a whole lot more pressure on your core. One of the first times I, I used this bar, I went a little bit too heavy, and I was doing box squats. Uh, this is back when I was a power lifter, and I sat down and I stood up, and something snapped in my ass, and I had a dent going across my ass for about maybe two, three months. It was a torn muscle, but it wasn't a bad one, so it healed on its own. But when you come to this bar and you start to use it, you know, come up to it with humility. Don't just try to stack weight on it or anything like that because it is a bit different from doing a normal squat. Uh, you see here, basically what I'm trying to do is, is push the bar forward as I'm coming down a little bit so that it sits a little bit uh, more back, further down on my back um, and I'm able to get my hips back and, and uh, get everything in here. Started off with just one plate, went up to two plates, uh, tried to get some good repage in here uh, with some good volume. But uh, uh, again, this bar, you really feel it in your core. It will cause, it. it's really good for making you stronger and helping you sit more upright because if you don't have a good core, you're gonna bend in half during the squat and that is not good. But um, really enjoy using this thing. There's another variation you can do where you actually uh, just hold on to the rack and you don't hold on to the bar at all and you just pull yourself back um, and that's, that's, uh, I forgot what it's called. What is that called? That is a, uh, Hatfield squat. And that helps to work more of the hamstrings. Right now, I'm, I'm mainly focusing on quads, so I'm keeping my feet closer together, and I am using Olympic lifting shoes. This is a strip set. I do, uh, uh, three plates for five, then go down to two plates for five, and then <coughs> pump it out with, uh, one plate. Uh, just trying to get some good blood volume into my legs. Um, again, this took a whole lot out of me. Uh, if you see me squat with a straight bar before, you know that I am uh, much stronger than that with three plates. So um, one thing you'll notice here is that on two plates, my belt actually started getting in, my, in the way. So I wasn't actually able to get as low as uh, I did with uh, three plates. So after this set, I start to take my belt off. But let me check this out here. I'm going down, I stick my hips back, and uh, the belt was actually pushing into my ribs a little bit, so I wasn't as low as I, I could have been there, but still got a decent depth for the squat. Pushing through. And then you got my buddy AD, the trainer back there. Um, he's helped me strip the plates. So I ripped the belt off and then just pump it out with one plate and you guys can check this out uh, doing too much voiceover already All right, so after squats, I moved on to leg press. Now, I look at leg press a lot differently than a lot of people look at it. A lot of people, you know, just try to stack weight on there. Uh, I look at this more as an isolation exercise. My, my heavy lifting is done. I, I lift it heavy with the, with the squats, which is what I want to lift heavy on. And uh, now my focus is mainly on my quadriceps. 
So I uh, use lighter weight on the leg press here, and I'm keeping my feet low on the plate, on the foot plate, and making it more like almost a leg extension. That really helps me to focus on the quadriceps. Again, I'm not using tons of weight because if I were using tons of weight, I'd be putting way too much pressure on my knees. You see how my knees are traveling way over my toes here. Um, a lot of trainers say never let your knees travel over your toes. Well, if you're working quads, then that's the way to hit them. So, push it up, doing really high volume. Um, just one plate on the uh, on the stack here. You're gonna see me go up to two plates and trying to put the pressure from my toes onto my heels as I'm pushing up, uh, trying to work that quadricep, bring up that quad sweep, uh, and work that teardrop. So, take you into my next set here with two plates, and again, high volume. Didn't go much heavier than this, just did about four sets of this. One thing I also want you to notice is that I'm not going to full extension with my knees at all. Uh, that's mainly to keep the pressure on my quadriceps and keep it off of my knees. Uh, really trying to just pump the quadricep up. A couple of bad things that happen if you lock your knees out. One, you take the pressure off the quadriceps, and then two, you put so much pressure on the knees and really grind that cartilage in there. And as somebody who's had three knee surgeries already, I'm not looking for another one. Uh, knees are healthy now, I want to keep them that way. So. Um, Definitely do not lock out on the leg press. Not a good thing. Okay, and then just finished off with the leg extensions here. Um, with the leg extensions, uh, you guys have seen me do this before. Do really full range of motion. Um, try to hit it way up at the top so I'm getting the whole quad. Not much of a, a long workout here today, but it was a hard one. And uh, if you guys got questions for me, hit me up at gettingshredded at gmail.com. Uh, I'm always here. And uh, check me out on Instagram. And, uh, you know, D's nuts. Peace out.